Here at the University of Guelph's BioNanoLab, we are focused on studying the nanoscale aspects of biological systems through instrumentation and nanoscale imaging tools. Our group fosters an interdisciplinary approach to research in the studies covering diverse topics of food, agriculture, and biomedical systems. Hi, my name is Isaac Tibbalasin, and my research at the BioNano Lab consists of characterizing Camelina sativa anti-tumor peptides against colorectal cancer cells. So some background information. Camelina sativa is a flowering plant that is emerging in Canada as an oil seed crop. Antimicrobial peptides, or AMPs, are natural peptides that arrive from plants, animals, and microorganisms. Secropin is the one that we'll be studying, derived from camelina. The CACO2 cells that we will be using in this study are colorectal cancer cells. Colorectal cancer is the third most diagnosed cancer in Canada, attributing to the second leading cause of death of cancer in males and third leading cause of death of cancer in females. So there are a few research objectives in this study. We're going to look at how the peptides affect uh, the inhibition of cellular growth through an MTS assay, the ability of the peptides to degrade cellular membranes through an LDH assay, the induction of apoptosis by the peptides in a caspase-37 assay, and the inhibition of cellular migration through an ORS pro migration assay. There are two secropin peptides being used in the study, both of which were synthesized with different amino acid sequences. The CACO2 cells are stored in the vapor phase of liquid nitrogen. The cells are thawed and grown in culture media at specific incubation conditions. The CACO2 cells are grown over time and then observed under microscope for their confluency before being used in any experiments. All the preparation for the cell culture for the experiments are done in a biosafety cabinet to ensure that everything is kept sterile. For the MTS and LDH assays, cells are seeded in a clear 96 well plate and are treated with peptides along with positive controls. Once the plate has been seeded, treated, and left to dose, it is then read in a spectrophotometer and an absorbance reading is taken to see if the peptides were able to inhibit cellular growth or lysis cell membranes. Here is the before and after of an MTS assay. The top plate is before, and the bottom plate is what happens after the assay is completed. As you can see, there's a clear color change. For the caspase 37 assay, a Citation 5 multi-mode plate reader was used to take images of the apoptotic cells. After the cells were treated with peptides, Images were taken and then analyzed for the presence of cells that are going through apoptosis, otherwise known as organized cell death. Here is an example of how the images were analyzed. The bright green dots you see are cells that are going through apoptosis. So the conclusions of the study found that all three peptide 1 concentrations were able to inhibit cellular growth. Peptide 2 showed no evidence that was able to inhibit the growth of the CACO2 cells. However, Peptide 2 does show some evidence of cytotoxicity at the highest concentration when compared to positive controls in untreated samples. Peptide 1 has more caspase activation in the cell than Peptide 2. Peptide 2, however, shows promise at a higher concentration the activation could be higher. To summarize, the secropin peptides derived from the Camelina sativa plant shows evidence of having anti-tumor properties when evaluated against colorectal cancer cells. 